Hello again, Denon with DenonTechHelp.com. I'm coming to you um, with a second look at the Google's new web browser, uh, Google Chrome. I got a lot of comments about this software, and um, some of the things that um, people had concerned, concerns about I'm going to address in this particular video. Um, now, um, as I um, was surfing the internet about this uh, this browser, um, I did find some information about some benchmarks that have been um, checked out by some um, different uh, benchmark companies. Uh, as you can see here, um, as it checks out the JavaScript benchmark component scores, now you'd have to go to the actual um, uh, news clipping that I'll I'll share in the description. Uh, to get all of the details on this, but I just wanted to get show you um, some details of the difference of the um, JavaScript uh, response versus um, all of these other uh, browser types, um, and they've uh, benchmarked it against um, Firefox, uh, IE7, the new IE8 beta, and also Safari. So some of the people were talking about uh, the Chrome Speed versus Safari and um, these other browsers. Um, as you can see, the performance um, is blowing the other browsers away. So um, what I wanted to do on this video is to do an apples to apples of the browsers. Now you have to excuse the video quality because I'm actually connect it remotely to another machine that has the software on a Windows Vista um, uh, Windows Vista uh, OS. So I'm um, going to excuse me for that. But pretty much what I've done here is I've opened up the Chrome browser with Google Reader, um, CNN, and YouTube. And I've opened up Firefox with Google Reader, CNN and YouTube. And what I want to see here is the memory usage um, that the two um, have comparatively. Now, the first thing that you'll notice um, that is a difference is that Google Chrome actually opens up multiple instances of its EFE. Now, the reason why that's important is that when a tab um, is uh, is opened and it crashes, you need only to close out that particular um, tab to shut down that particular tab and to get going back with Chrome um, versus Firefox. Now, if you look at Firefox, you'll see that it is all in one EXE. That's important because when one tab crashes, if there's a um, script on one page, one tab that crashes, it crashes the entire browser. And this makes, um, this makes Chrome uh, much more stable than Firefox, in my opinion. Um, let's go back to the Chrome EXEs. Now, since these are um, all separated in different EXEs, you have to actually um, count all of these up to get an accurate um, idea of how they compare as far as memory usage. Um, if you take 42, um, let's see, 40, uh, 20, 60, um, plus 15, uh, 75, plus 30, 90, um, plus 15 is another um, 105, uh, so about 105 uh, megabytes of memory this is taking up versus Firefox, which is 140. Um, and so you're looking at around 30, um, 30 megabytes roughly um, that is just fluff that Firefox is taking over. So not only is um, uh, the Google browser um, more stable because it separates itself into different um, EXEs, but it's also um, lighter um, on your operating system. 
So um, this is another video um, that just a second look at some uh, some of the things that people have been concerned about. Again, this is Denon with DenonTechHelp.com. If you have any questions, email me at DenonTechHelp at Live.com.